Hello, you're watching the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women and President of the Consultative Council of the National Initiative for Agricultural Development, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. His Majesty congratulated Her Royal Highness on the success of the 2018 Bahrain International Garden Show, organized by NIAD. He expressed thanks and appreciation to her efforts to contribute to the success of such exhibitions and events that contribute to the development of the agricultural sector in Bahrain and in spreading the culture of greeting. His Majesty also hailed the show's national goals to support the environment, develop agricultural production, meet the requirements of food security and promote the kingdom in regional and international events. His Majesty also expressed appreciation of the event's continuous success since its establishment as well as the wide attendance, which reflects the appreciation and interest of the exhibition's role in preserving the environment. His Majesty wished Her Royal Highness further success, progress and prosperity. Under the patronage of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the Minister of Sports and Youth Affairs, Hisham bin Hamad Al Jodar, the Nasser bin Hamad Universities League commenced with the participation of 15 public and private universities. The event is organized by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs and was attended by the university's presidents. His Highness affirmed that the ministry's policies include launching numerous initiatives with the aim of creating a young generation that is fully aware of the importance of sports as a key factor in maintaining a healthy lifestyle. His Highness added that the aim of launching the league is to transform sporting activities at universities from recreational events into competitive competitions. Sheikh Nasser added that the next phase will witness the launch of several initiatives targeting university students. His Highness commended the role of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs in contributing to the success of the league, praising the wide participation of public and private universities. The league was held at the Arab Open Universities Hall, where a film was screened about His Highness Sheikh Nasser and various shows and activities were held. The teams were categorized into groups to participate in competitions in football, volleyball, and basketball. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, and honorary president of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated the strongest Bahraini man championship. Present was the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham Hamad Al Jodar, the Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar, MP Jalal Kazim, and a number of officials from the Kingdom's sports sector. His Highness toured the championship and reviewed the preparations for the competitions. He also met with the participants of the championship's health, sports, recreational, and the elderly exhibition. Sheikh Khaled also viewed a number of activities performed by cancer patients on the championship stage. He affirmed that the Supreme Organizing Committee has exerted extensive efforts to prepare for the event and wished all the participants success. His Highness invited all the citizens and residents to enjoy the activities and competitions of the championship. Sheikh Khalid met with the 18th Strongest Man champion, Eddie Hall, where he discussed with him means of developing the championship and the goals to be achieved, which will reflect in supporting the Bahraini youth engaged in sport. He added that this will give the Bahraini sports community an opportunity to develop Bahraini athletes capable of representing the kingdom in international events. This will also reinforce the kingdom's reputation as a hub for sports and would promote the culture amongst the Bahraini community. His Highness will participate in the lightweight competitions of the championship. The lightweight competitions will be accompanied by children's competitions, which will be attended by the son of His Highness, Sheikh Khalid, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa.
The first of its kind in the kingdom, Bahrain's Strongest Man Championship, opened its doors and will feature a number of competitions that depend on challenge, strength and endurance, aiming to enhance the importance of sports in the community, helping to create a new generation that is passionate about competition, strength and challenge, and enriching the sporting movement in the kingdom. And really, it's a, it's a good event and a nice place. Hope tomorrow, inshallah, all the uh, Bahrainis uh, will participate here and uh, let us see a new uh, Bahraini champion. You know, the first time Bahrain's hosted a, a strongman contest and it's Bahrain's strongest man, which I think is great. It's a start of an evolution of strongman in Bahrain, one of many, hopefully. And, you know, the sport of strongman brings many people, many communities together. And I think it's a great thing and it'll do great things for Bahrain. Well, I expect this event to be a, a great success, a great turnout. Uh, we've got a lot of athletes turning up, which is great. You know, everyone's getting involved and the future can only get bigger. You know, this sport can only get bigger and hopefully the Bahrain people will caress and, and accept the strongman sport and, and see it as, uh, you know, the, the sort of football of Europe. So <clears throat> bringing the strongman competition to Bahrain, not only does it inspire the people, it inspires people that are going through tough times. You know, it inspires them to keep going, that you never give up on yourself. You never give up on your dreams and, and what you're doing in life. So Strongman is a great representation of that. The championship, which coincides with the Global Day of Challenging Cancer Disease, will allocate all revenue of the tournament to support cancer patients, aiming to serve as a great spiritual movement to the group through the interactive activities. Today is the registration day for uh, Bahraini's Strongest Man. Uh, there was, uh, you know, uh, big, big uh, uh, yani players or number of players. Oh, alhamdulillah, all, all, you know, all of them almost, they came here and uh, they registered here. The registration was perfect. Uh, we are waiting for tomorrow. Big challenge uh, for every Bahrainis. Say that thank you for uh, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al Khalifa for uh, for this event that is all for charity for cancer patients. I'm so glad to be here, and I will tell for all the cancer patients that be strong because we are all we will we will kill cancer like a monster. The championship reflects on the kingdom's role as an incubator for various international sports, which are practiced by the Bahraini youth and globally by providing a great impression on a regional and international level for its good intentions and positive impact. The championship, which aims to promote sports as a lifestyle for all, will take place until the 24th of February here at Bahrain Bay. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The President of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the Council's meeting in the presence of the Minister of Health, Faika Saeed Al Saleh, which was held with the Director General of Dubai Health Authority, Hamid Al Qatami. The meeting brought together the leaders of the Dubai Health Authority and senior official at the Supreme Council for Health and the Ministry of Health. The SCH President confirmed the agreement to promote joint health and medical cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates in all fields, particularly health insurance. The comprehensive development of the Bahraini healthcare system was reviewed during the meeting, as well as the Kingdom's national health plan for the years 2016 to 2025, which are based on several pillars, including clear, efficient, and sustainable healthcare system. The Bahraini side highlighted the measures taken towards implementing the National Health Insurance Program, Sahati or My Health, which aims to create an outstanding health system. For his part, Al Qatami affirmed Dubai Health Authority's ability to help guide the SCH to achieve the desired goals. It was agreed during the meeting to benefit from the expertise of the government of Dubai in health insurance and other health and medical fields to benefit both countries. The Supreme Council of Health hosted the visiting Dubai Health Authority delegation at its premises in Manama on Thursday. The day-long event came in line with the Council's directives to boost cooperation with the countries of the bloc, especially in the field of healthcare policies and services. Uh, coordination is very important, actually, because, you know, these experiences in uh, different parts of the health actually, actually enrich the uh, experience of the others. If you have a problem and, they, you know, it had been uh, solved in Dubai, we shouldn't uh, fall in front again. And same thing with Saudi Arabia. And that's actually what we are trying to do. And I think we are, in this way, actually, we are going to reach some kind of uh, system which is actually integrated and coordinated between the, uh, the Gulf states. 
During the meeting, the Bahraini delegation shared progress on the process of reform in health care in the kingdom. The president of the council, along with the minister of health and high officials, presented a breakdown of the initiatives stipulated by the national health plan with a special focus on the planned national social health insurance program, Sahati. This comes as part of the council's desire to share knowledge with their Emirati counterparts and learn from their experiences. Well, it's very important. It's really actually added value for us. Um, we are now in a new future experience for Bahrain uh, health insurance as a coverage, whole coverage for Bahrain. At the same time, we're going for an experience, a new experience for autonomy, mainly for the public hospitals. Getting the experience with the people, they have the, you know, one of the best experiences in the Gulf, which is mainly in Dubai, Dubai Institute for Health. They really actually did, they did actually the best mainly for health insurance. For their part, the UAE delegation gave a presentation on the health reform process in the Emirates with a special focus on the city of Dubai. The two sides agreed on further cementing cooperation in the field of health through conducting future exchange workshops and visits to coordinate efforts in arriving at sustainable, high-quality health care. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hamid Shaban.